Welcome back to another video. My name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And today I've got kind of a unique topic of conversation for you. That's one that I had with a client of mine just the other day. And he would brought up a really interesting thing that he'd noticed about his results that he was getting from dates that he was getting better experiences with women that he'd met via cold approaching than those that he'd met when he'd gone through the dating apps. And, and he kind of asked me like why that was. And I said to him like, you know what, this will be a great topic for a video because I'm. it sounds like then that a lot of guys also maybe aren't clocking on to what the difference is. Now, don't get me wrong, dating apps are beneficial in, a, in their own way, especially if you don't have the time to go out and practice cold approaching, or maybe you're someone who just doesn't have the time to go out and socialize. But there is something, though, that you should be aware of. And in fact, guys who haven't experienced cold approaching aren't going to know what this experience is going to be like uh, because they've maybe perhaps never experienced what happens when attraction is already there. Now, when you go out and you're practicing cold approaching, or maybe you're spending some time socializing in particular environments, when you're talking to women, especially ones you're attracted to, and you're kind of having a couple of minutes chat or however long of a chat, you're getting the phone number, you're then texting back and forth, and then you're arranging the date. The thing that is a massive game changer here is the fact that attraction has already been formed. That woman that you're going on that date with likes you before you've gone on that date. She has already met you. She's vetted you. She likes what she sees and she is attracted to you. And when you're then going on a date with someone who is already attracted to you, it's a lot easier to somewhat escalate the romance between the two of you as opposed to what you would experience if you were going through a dating app. So looking at like the scenario with a dating app where you haven't obviously met that person in real life first, you're reliant first of all on just the pictures and a very brief bio about that person and then you're having a back and forth chat that most people don't tend to do voice notes, whatever. So you're relying on just text that has no vocal tonality or tone to it. So you can't really get a sense of someone's personality from that and whether from that alone they're worthwhile going on a date with. And even when you get the phone number and you still have a back and forth, you still don't really know that person. And then when you're going on the date, you'll know and I'm sure you've probably also experienced this, but you know within the first five minutes whether you're attracted to that person or not, whether it be personality or even looks. But when you're meeting someone in person first, not even involving anything with dating apps, you've gone over to someone that you are genuinely attracted to. So if you have done that, you've gone over and spoken to someone and they're attracted to you as well, then it's already that kind of like match made in heaven. Whereas, again, if there's none of that assumed attraction, and then you're going on a date with someone, then you're essentially just going to, you know, you're, you're trying to build that attraction on the date. And again, that could also be the situation that you're trying to do that on someone that you're not really attracted to. Now, I've actually had relationships from both uh, the dating apps and in person that all via cold approaching. And I must say that when I've actually cold approached, the relationships that I've had through that have certainly been much better. Even when I've met people at social events and workshops and stuff, and then I've uh, gone on dates with women through them, they have been genuinely better because the attraction again is just there. So perhaps maybe I think the reason why guys haven't figured that out is because they've not really experienced cold approaching. And if they've only just had dating apps to rely on for their dating life, then you haven't really had the opportunity to know what it feels like 
when someone already likes you when you're going on that date. And I can assure you, it's a lot easier for things to have happen. And it's a lot more effortless as well. And a lot less try hard, perhaps, is maybe the best phrase for it. You know, you can be a lot more relaxed. It can be very easy going. You can have that banter very quickly and build that sexual tension and chemistry almost right away when you've met someone because it feels like a continuation of how or when you both first met. So if you haven't actually experienced what it's like to have attraction already there before you've gone on a date and have a date that is a lot more effortless per se, then I do think that it's worth you at least considering to try and experience what it's like to just cold approach. Now, it can be a very daunting and scary thing to go and actually talk to strangers in real life and also talk to people in very social environments and some perhaps where it would be uh, a bit of a taboo location to go and talk to people because, you know, it's not... Unless you're a charity worker on the street, it's not very common that people will go and talk to people on the street. But it's certainly not to say that you should rule that out. I have seen tens of thousands of approaches over the years that have had tremendous results from actually talking to people that they are attracted to on the street and gone for phone numbers and so on as well. And in fact, I think a bit of vulnerability doesn't hurt to even call out and say, that you are a little bit nervous to go and do this. But I, I'm kind of digressing here. Point being is that if you haven't experienced uh, a date where attraction is already there, then why not experience going out and cold approaching or put yourself in a social environment and try and meet someone through that rather than being reliant on a dating app? Dating apps certainly have their time and place, especially if you've got a really fantastic profile that you've invested in. And by that, I mean getting like a photographer who can take some very professional photos of you so you can look as great as you can. But if you're going on dates where, you know, within the first five minutes or so, you're like, oh, I'm not sure if I like that person or not. Let, let's go, let's carry on with the date and we'll see where things go. You don't need to be going on those sort of dates. Um, it's one thing if you're actually going on dates with women that you are genuinely attracted to. But if you're going in with this like, uh, I'm not quite sure, don't waste your time. Don't waste her time. Get yourself better results through much better experiences. So we'll kind of end the video there. But if you are looking for ways in how you can get better experiences, I do actually offer a program or a coaching course called my dating desensitization therapy where I can take you out on the street and help you via uh, or through some social freedom exercises to get you more comfortable and more confident with talking to people in real life. You know, it doesn't have to be necessarily via just through cold approaching on the street. I wanna help you to build your confidence so you can go to social events and speed dating of sorts, and you can have some great interactions. So that's just food for thought of what kind of confidence you can, can develop if you can learn to become desensitized via exposure therapy through talking to people in very social environments. So do check out my website for that. And also, if you can, please comment below this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. And if you can, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel. Every little bit helps me to grow and reach out to help even more men with their confidence and anxiety issues in dating. And I can assure you, I've got some great content and great interviews coming out as well. So do stay tuned for them. And also, I'm going to be doing some street interviews with people on the street just to show you and to certainly discover what kind of anxiety the masses have when it comes to dating. So thank you so much for watching. Again, like, subscribe, comment below, check out my website. And I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy, and look forward to more videos from me.